up. Uh, we have, uh, we got, uh, I don't know, LeBron. LeBron been having, you, you, you a basketball guy. LeBron been having, and them Lakers, uh, was, was it two, two and eight out of the last, out of, two, two wins out of the last eight games? Like, What's wrong with your mans, man? They just beat the Clippers. Mm. I'm look, I, look mm. I love Bron. I love mm-hmm. the game, of course. But yeah, of course, of course. I mean, it's it's a it's a crazy role right now with um with Darvin Ham as the head coach, and I love Darvin Ham. That's mm-hmm. my guy. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, Darvin Ham played. Guy, Darvin Ham played for the Nuggets when he was in the league. I believe. Yeah, he played for the Nuggets. Yeah, I he remember, played yeah. for a few teams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I remember yeah, he, the Nuggets. Yeah, but he um. And he been coaching for years, so mm-hmm. I'm glad. It's good to see like a brother get that opportunity, mm-hmm. but it's hard to coach a polarizing person like that. Mm. So you think? So you say Le- LeBron? So so like yeah, LeBron and still deal with AD and still yeah, man. AD is cool, but I'm talking about Bron yeah. is that's a different. It's dead. Bron's Bron. You know what I'm saying? Bron's and Bron. and yeah. AD is great. Mm-hmm. Don't get me wrong. That's my little bro. Mm-hmm. But um, like coaching a LeBron, LeBron gonna want to have. A say so in everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whether he's he looked like he said in the press yeah. conference or not. I, I'm, yo, Ann, I'm gonna tell you a story. I never told nobody this, shit, this before. I want to hear it. Yo, you gotta hear this. What's happening? So there's two. First of all, so we used to go to um, this place called Philomena's, right? Fact. So it's in Georgetown in DC. So one I know time, exactly what yeah, you're talking about. Philomena's, yep, because yeah. there's, there's a club there. I forgot what the club. I used to go to the club right there on the outside. So it's, it's, it's on it's on the water. Right. So it'll come to my mind soon because I used to I used to go there hard. Me and my, my, my boys know. I'm sitting next. I'm sitting. I'm sitting there enjoying my birthday. It's my birthday actually. My birthday, mm-hmm. and I love this spot because it has black. It has black uh, pasta, and it's a seafood right. pasta. Right. So we're sitting down and get you sits, sits next to us. LeBron, LeBron James and his team. <laughs> I'm sitting there. I'm saying I'm sitting on my bed next to LeBron. So next time, LeBron, hey, this that's the first time LeBron did me wrong. He don't even know. It wasn't even his fault though, because I felt like you know he took away from my 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 my, my extracurricular. You know what I mean? He took away from my shot. What happened, man? So next time I'm at All Star Weekend. I don't want to put. Bron. I'm at All Star Weekend in, in Vegas, and uh, I had just left. Uh, I think New Yorker. We had watched your boy uh, that was on Houston that year. I forgot his name. Um, he played for Boston though. He played for Boston. He won a slam dunk contest. Uh, nah, Rich, uh, what's his name? Yo, he from Houston. I think he a, he a Houston cat. I forgot his name. It was Vegas All Star Weekend. He won a slam dunk contest. Yice can do braids. Kind of braids. He, I forgot his. I'm sorry if I'm forgetting your name, brother. But you, he Gerald was nice. Green? Gerald Green. Gerald that's Green, my had brother. One. Yeah, Gerald yeah, Green. That's my man. Gerald Green. Shout to G Greasy. That's my bro. I love so, him. I saw, I saw G Greasy come through the party. He was hanging out the uh, the uh, the window and had his arm out. He had a chain yeah, that, on and he was like, yo, 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 yo. So he, he that's got the it. young G Greasy. Yeah, 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 yeah. He came G-Greasy out. He got his own podcast now, too. Oh, yeah. Shout oh, nah, he actually um he doing media for the for the Rockets, I believe, right now. Okay. Podcast. Shout out to G Greasy. Because I, I remember when you man. won a slim dunk Love contest. You, you was you 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 was on fire that night, but I saw you come through the party and you had your arm out. You was like, yo, yo, you had to get a guy gold teeth on. Yeah. So so You're real Houston. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're real Houston guy. <laughs> Shout out to Houston, <laughs> the wards and all, all that. that boy, man. So, so then, so I get, I walk up on the red carpet because my my friend's mom always had access to that stuff because she she was a VP from a wet and, and, and uh, I ain't gonna mention her name, but she was a VP from a wet right. in Hennessy. So every time we went places, shout out to my man Chauncey, doobies and pins, doobies and pins. We used to go. We went to Camorley Simmons party. We we would go everywhere. We had car. We had we went to a ludicrous Puma party in Houston All Star right. Weekend. We we have to go anywhere we wanted. Right. So we out there, and I'm on a red carpet. I'm, I'm about to shine. I'm about to shine on the red carpet. Get my picture. They said, "Sir, move over. Go to the left, please." I was like, "What you they mean? Like, it's like go, go go now, <laughs> go now." <laughs> LeBron James is coming. <laughs> I felt. I was like. You know what I mean? Like, yo, like I was like, yo, man, yeah, how you gonna push me over for Le- I don't, I, Me personally, no, it's LeBron. It's listen, LeBron. I get it. I don't I get give it. A, listen, Bron, Bron, I, Bron, I'm Bron. Mm. Maybe, maybe maybe bad remember, dad. Hey, listen, bro, <laughs> I got a quick story. Mm. So I remember, like, this is when my daughter was probably about two or three years old. Uh, we, I was playing for New Jersey, uh, New Jersey Nets. Yep, New Jersey Nets. Yep. We had the Prudential Center. Uh huh. This one, Bron went to Miami. Right. So. Of course, like 80% of the fans are Miami fans. Okay. So, like, the game's over. We in there getting dressed and stuff. So, my daughter's mother, shout out to 
Aurora. Mm -hmm. She had my daughter. She came out there at the time. My daughter's little, so my daughter's just walking. She don't know who LeBron James and Dwayne Wade are. Mm -hmm. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> so, like, yeah. they walking. She walk in front of, you know, my, my daughter's mother. Mm -hmm. I'm in the locker room. Mm -hmm. I got out of the locker room. She like, hey, all the Miami, Miami Heat uh, security guards was, like, really trying to press her out. I'm like, she just learned how to walk. She's like, I know. I had to go grab and then cuss them out. I'm like, where they at? <laughs> right. You know what I mean? But that's right. how they was. Them boys, was. they looked at them like the Beatles or superstars. Yo, it's different. I call our team security. Hey, man, who they people? Yeah. I need to holler at them. Yeah. They on the bus, man. Hey, Mo, hey, Mo they on the bus. They going back. I'm like, I don't give up. I'm, I'm like, look, yeah. bro, can we holler at them? Yeah. My daughter, two years old, and we lost bad. They beat yeah. the shit out of us, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I play good though. I ain't gonna. Nah, you got, you got, you got. I'm like, nah, still. <laughs> that man, that's my daughter. <laughs> you two years old. I'm in it. I'm in a car cussing. <laughs> <laughs> but you got, but your, they was But you got yours though. They got your. Yeah, I got my. But that was the heaters. That's my daughter, bro. <laughs> she was like two, three. She didn't know what she was doing. And baby mom probably put a battery in my back for a second. <laughs> but I thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> It's motivation, yo, <laughs> yo. I got, I got, I got, I got, I got, I got, I got one for, I got one for you, sir. I got What's one up, for you. Man? What's I used up? to go to All Star Weekends all the time. So, so uh, I was at a bar one time, right? Houston All Star Weekend, and uh, and and Jermaine can account to this. My man Maine, mm -hmm. um, I ain't gonna tell you who he, who he's cool. With. I don't want to put him out like that, but like he's real cool. But he was on the mm -hmm. um. Because he's cool, he's cool, he's cool, and a very known, uh, very well known quarterback in the NFL. But I ain't gonna do that. I don't want, I don't want to do that for for clout. So he gave me the uh, the ring for for the for the college. I ain't gonna tell you the college because if I tell you the college, you are gonna know who the quarterback is. Yeah, you know I, mean? so I ain't gonna do that. But he gave me, he gave me, he, he, he gave me, he gave me, he gave me, he gave me that bowl ring, right? He gave me that bowl ring. So I had the bowl ring on one night. So I'm at the bar. And all I ordered, you know, back then, I'm like, what, 20-something years old, so, like, everybody ordering, ordering Dom or whatever. So, Kenyon Martin's right here, and, you know, he doesn't know who the hell I am, but, like, to me, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a star. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care Kenyon Martin. I'm a star. Kenyon Martin, Martin right here. Shout out to Kenyon. Respect. But, you know, I'm, I'm one of them small little young kids that th I think I'm bigger than y'all, uh, you know, because my head's big, and, you know, I'm just me. So, it's, it's my body. I'm going to do that. You know what I mean? So, I'm sitting at the bar, so, so, so I'm like, I'm waiting for, like, 20 minutes. All I wanted was three Coronas. That's all you needed? King and Martin came mm -hmm. in, got his order. Two of the dudes got their order. <laughs> I sat there, and I, I, I have an ego. So I sat there, so I took the, uh, for the, uh, the ring for the, for, the, for the bowl championship, very known team, and I, and I slapped, I turned it around, I slapped the joint down at the bar. Bang, bang, bang. Yo, everybody turned it around. King and Martin, everybody looked. I was like, yo, I, I looked at the bar. I said, like, what the f is my goddamn Coronas, man? So only on three Coronas, man. Give me my shit right now, bro. You was tripping over three, tripping over three Coronas. Three like Coronas, three Coronas, not three Coronas, bro. Sebastian, <laughs> So, so I sat there. So, so he looked at me. So I'm telling you before you story. So he looked at me. He was like, so he went and got me four joints. Yeah. Brought it back. Bar to the dead. Looked at me, and so I was like, thank you. Right. So I got my joints. He's like, nah, it's on the house. Of a dude looked at me. He was like. Just some strange looked at me, looked at me, was like, yo, you from New York, huh? <laughs> and that's what we did to you here in Charlotte, North Carolina. <laughs> it's a New yo, York uh, guy. Yeah, yo, hey, this dude's crazy. But like, I just, I just wanted, I wanted, I wanted my Coronas. And, and Kenyon, you blocked my Coronas that night. You actually stunned on me. You didn't even know, but it's what you're supposed to do, right? Because he has a different level. Back yo, it's Kenyon Martin, man. It's Kenyon Martin, man. It's Kenyon hey, shout Martin, out to Kmart, though, for yeah. real. Yeah, shout out yeah, to Kenyon Hold Martin, on. man. Oh man, that was the year they had the hoops at Allen Iverson party at the Reliant in Houston, and I mm -hmm. was out there, and I was out there. You had, to, you had to pay money to get in, whatever, whatever. I think I, I think I paid, I paid like a one fifty, but we was in there. But they was on stage, you just watching hoops and and, Al, and AI. Shout out to AI and hoops. But Chuck, yeah, man. man, you know what time it is. Chuck, Chuck, Chuck. Bush. Chuck, I love you. I love you, man. I'm gonna say it on camera, and I love you. You know, you unk. <laughs> you be bullshit, man. Gotta get you on camera with me, bro. It's been like four years. 
But Chuck be uh, he be live though, man. Shout out to Kai yeah, Chuck, all the yeah, homies, man. man. Yeah, I love man. you, man. He a good one. So yeah. the next thing that we're gonna get into is just uh Taraji P. Henson joint. She was been upset about she made a comment saying she wasn't getting paid correctly out of Hollywood. Now, right. I heard a lot of book I I heard a lot of stuff about Hollywood and how it is. Right. But um I guess as far as black actors, she's not the first. Monique mentioned it first, as far as getting paid and whatever, as far as being in a minority in Hollywood or whatever. And Taraji did did as well. Right. Um, she said she had to rent a car. I mean, I've been renting cars for years, so I don't know. Like, I, I'm, like, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm about to rent a car and do a couple yeah. of days. <laughs> <laughs> she she got do no money. Like, rent a but car. I guess I guess because she's just a huge actor, right. she feels she needs you know, you know, or whatever. And I, I, I you know, yeah, you got pay. You know, if you feel your worth, you 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 know, what I mean, so. Um, Self awareness, man. So yeah, but, you know. I feel you. I'm listening. No, but like, I guess, like, I guess, like, when you when you were at your height, I, I, I could equate this. When you were at your height in the NBA, um, was there a point where you felt like you were entitled to certain things? That's the question I wanted to give you. Great question, my brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me tell you yeah, something, bro. Yeah. I never got used to feeling like I was entitled to. Mm. Mm. Like for me. It was like um, I stayed so close to people that was around me mm -hmm. that was with me when it was nothing, mm -hmm. nothing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I still had a great childhood. Don't get me wrong, mm -hmm. but I stayed around them people and kept the integrity of the friendships that I had with people that was really my homies. Mm -hmm. And I saw the, the thing is, you got to see your homies go with you with their own path. Where they don't need you for nothing. Mm. Some of them guys needed me, mm -hmm. and um, a lot of them, the the circle shrinks mm. when you get the guys that have everything going on. Mm. Now we got a circle, like how Hove said, our Dame said. Mm -hmm. If somebody falls down, mm -hmm. we can support him, we bring can support him back him, up. Get up, yeah. Because we all are mm. our own entity. Mm -hmm. You feel you, what I'm saying? Yo, 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 yo. Now, now go ahead, go ahead. I got something, something to add on that, but go ahead, though. But go ahead, though. Go ahead, nah, go ahead. I was just, just, yeah. just, to, just to talk, talk about what you were saying mm -hmm. with, um, with that, like, mm -hmm. yeah, like, um, in terms of that, sh that mm -hmm. right there, uh, you asked me, did I have a time? You said you felt entitled. Yeah, it was, it was times where I, I never felt entitled for nothing like that. I had to get used to people pushing me to be entitled. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, hey man, talk your shit. Mm -hmm. Pop it. Like, mm -hmm. go out there, say it. Do, do it. what you're doing. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, nah, mm -hmm. man, look, we, if it costs this, we're paying this. Mm -hmm. They're like, nah, they're trying to give you this. I'm like, I ain't earned that. Yeah. My whole thing in my life, this is the thing to answer your question 100%, bro. My whole motto of my life was, Everything I earn, I want 100% of that. Mm -hmm. And not one penny less. Mm. So if I ain't earn that shit, don't give it to me. Mm. But what happens is you earn that 100 and they want to give you 300% more. Yeah. But yeah. what do I owe you for that? You owe yeah. me nothing. Everybody mm. owes somebody something. You know what? You know what? I'm going to tell it's you something. It's a price for something. Hey, I'm going to tell you something. At some point. I'm gonna tell you. That's something. how I always thought about it. Your aunt, your aunt. I'm tell you. I swear to God, bro. Yeah, that's what, I think that's why we 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 chill a lot. Like I, I really, I really don't like. I really don't believe in um, charging people for certain things. Um, because I feel like at the end of the day, like you can't take none of this shit with you. And I feel as if like, you know, I have I have a I have a gift. I feel I do have a gift that I can offer. But like, if it's something to where I can help you out in, to where it's gonna get you better, that's what you're supposed to do in life. It's energy, and but like as you get older, you realize that people take advantage of that shit sometimes, and uh, you know you uh, have to uh, regulate that. But you know who the real ones are, Fact. and you know who the real ones are gonna be in your corner when you're actually doing that or when you're looking them out. Um, you know, and um, I've had some. I'm blessed to have had some good people in my life who I've never felt really taken advantage of. Um, and um, I think my keen instincts from that, I think my upbringing from that, because we know who we are around when they're trying to do some
You know what I'm saying? That's because of who, where we came from. Because of where you're from, your keen instincts, you know who, who's been around and you know how to move. You know how to, you really know how to um, uh, gauge who's there to help you out or be there for you the long run. They might need some help. Everybody needs help. Everybody needs assistance. That's what it is. Like that's what that's what. If you have it, you have it. You don't you don't do it versus your babies. But if you got if you got it, that's what the Lord puts you here for. Because the Lord put you in a position to do that. Right. And sometimes people don't understand that. Like like you know, and I've been in position in my position with my family for that for a while. But I've kind of been like I've been very selfish over the years, and I've have to be. I've learned at forty five as well that I have to be more giving because I'm one of the people that's always going to have and God has blessed me like that. It's not being arrogant. It's just that I have, I have more to give. And, 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 you know, as you see your mortality rate go lower and lower and lower, what are you really doing? You know, cause we're not going to be here forever. So what legacy are we leaving? You know, and, and you know, and somebody told me, you know, somebody, I'll tell you, get back to the new year. Somebody told me this year, some the realest shit I ever heard in my life. And Warren Buffett's friend did it. I heard. But write your obituary this year. It's not nothing grim because it's like writing a, a will. It's nothing, you know. But when you write it, write it according, writing according to how you want to live. Mm -hmm. So when you do your obituary, you you know what you want to accomplish and what you've done and what you and what you live for and what your merits are. You know what I mean? And that's just, you know, that's like, just, that's, you know, that's, that, that's how I'm trying to live my life going forward. You know what's crazy, dog? I wrote my obituary when I was like 22. Mm. I'm 38. Mm. I need to redo it. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get a chain, let me get a chain. No. <laughs> I bestowed my chain yeah, no, part, no, just, <laughs> hey, I really did, hey, no, because hey, like for real, bro, like, <laughs> I went into something that nobody could see. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? There's yeah. a few people, you know, and I love them dearly. Yeah. And they know who they are. Yeah. You yeah. feel me? Yeah. And mm -hmm. to be here now, I'm, you from Queens. I'm a Nas fan. Mm -hmm. Nas is my favorite rapper. Mm -hmm. That's my big homie. What do you say? They just second robbed your grave, son. Yeah, second, oh, second, going second childhood? Second childhood. But check, second childhood in a positive way. Okay, okay. Not like the song said. Yeah, no, no, because you, know, you, know, you, know, you know. You know, I know the premise of that song. Y'all got to listen to it. That's a real second premise. Child. Come on, bro. You feel me? In a positive in way. In a yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because the, the song is like, he was this, and then he living with, you know, doing all kind of crazy shit in the hood, trying to survive, but living with mama and shit. I'm like... Man, look, I thank God I'm at the place where I'm at God. to plant them seeds. Come on, man. I'm like, look, man, I ain't have to be Michael Jordan, man. <laughs> I didn't have to be LeBron. I had to be Kobe. But I look up, I, 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 I really appreciate those guys mm -hmm. for Allen Iverson, all them. Stephon Marbury, Georgia Tech, mm -hmm. for what they set with that precedent, bro. Shout out to Kenny Anderson, Queens. Kenny Anderson, of Kenny course. Yeah. Archbishop oh, Malloy. Can't, Stop can't. playing. Archbishop oh, Malloy. <laughs> Carolina blue and white. <laughs> Surprised he can go to Carolina. <laughs> but like just being around that, um, I mean, a lot of guys, not even just them. Mm -hmm. It's it's a lot of people, man. But um, just moving through that, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, it's it's a blessing to be able to have that and what, 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 what? navigate through it through my process. Everybody got their own thing. Well, and, and, and you know what? Like one thing that I will I will tell you, um, it, it is and so prevalent. Like you know, like the inner city, we we whether we're corporate because corporate is the, is the same as an athlete too. It's a different pay scale or whatever. Nice. Probably sometimes or whatever. It's wild though. But like either way, you're when you when you feel people when you people in your family feel you have made it. You, you're making money. That's what I would say, as a, as a, especially as a, as a, as a young black male. Um, they feel like you're, you're supposed to take care of everybody. And I have a lot of friends that, that are like that or whatever and everything. And, you know, you could take care of people's, people in different ways. Doesn't mean you can't, doesn't mean you got to buy them a house or a car or, or do some wild Naganda stuff. But, like, even setting an example of how you're supposed to move. Like, uh, like, like me and you both 
you more probably, most likely, of course, you've been in a situation where you know how to invest and do things differently. And that's what you're supposed to bestow upon other people. You don't gotta, you don't gotta give them, you don't gotta give it to them like that, but teach them how to fish. It's about teaching how to fish. And a lot of people don't understand that. Like, I'm give, I, I'll, give you, I'll give you the method of, do, of doing it. But people don't understand. You could take, you could, you could take your, your, your tax paying check for 2000 If we put it the right way, you turn it into 20000 You take 20000 turn it into 40000 Like, like, we're, we're, we're live, like we've, been, we've been indoctrinated to live with the wrong things. And we are actually, we are actually consumers. When, right. when we are the biggest consumers... Of all time, we're the biggest consumers, especially the African, the African American culture is the biggest consumers. Where, but 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 we control the culture, right. and I'm not trying to be on some divisive stuff, but it's important that that's put out there, mm-hmm. you know, and because um, the culture is us, right. whether it's basketball, whether it's baseball, whether it's whether it's because whether it's a uh, 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 rapping, whether it was art, music, or whatever. So how do we sit here and teach them financial awareness? Well, first of all, you can tap in with anthonymarcharities.org. There we have you a financial literacy program. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, Charlotte Lab School here coming up soon in the spring. So lock in, anthonymarcharities.org. Mm. We've had our financial literacy program. Shout out to Miss Renee. Um, shout out to Vina Vaughn, my manager, everybody. You can lock in with us. For my one. man. My For man. two. For two. What's <laughs> the second you, one? I tell you, bro, um, you know, they don't teach us that shit in them books. It's CMS. Mm. And some private schools, they don't teach you that. Mm. And I didn't learn that. I didn't know nothing about nothing until I got in the NBA about finances. And that was my first job. It didn't feel like a job because I've been playing basketball since I was three years old. Mm-hmm. So when you get that opportunity and you understand, you get people around you that believe in you. And I'm still around these guys. Mm-hmm. Like I said, shout out to my agent, my homie, Wallace Prather, mm-hmm. and um, financial advisor, Ken Kevin, all these guys that give me knowledge that don't even necessarily work for me no more, but they mm-hmm. still give me knowledge and mm-hmm. opportunities mm-hmm. with certain things. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, Bruce Sankavich, all these guys, like you get in these situations where you understand how to understand how to read a contract when you first come out of college. That was big when you talked about it in the part yeah, one yeah, because bro, you started I, I reading ain't the contract. I bring it all the way back up because yeah. that was crazy. No, 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 no. Yeah. Bring it. No, no. no, but then it's part that, two. We got we, 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 we got to go in. But that contract led to me being able to read a contract for my first commercial real estate deal. Mm. You feel me? Right. Investment. Mm. You feel me? Yeah. And then knowing who to go to that's going, you can trust to read that with you through some of that lingo. Because some of that you, we ain't going to Yeah, you're not going to say. Yeah, gonna so stay. like, yeah. I want to be able to, when my daughter, t- yeah. my daughter, she's a she's 15, when she called me and said, Daddy, um, somebody offered me something, something, because mm. she ranked like top two, top three, top one. I love you, Mumu. Mm. <laughs> if she get, if she's ranked now as a freshman, so mm. like, somebody come to something. Her mama called me, we do this, hey, listen. Let me go sit down. I'm going to call the homies. They flying in if they need to. Or bro coming over here from Decatur to Atlanta. Mm-hmm. We're going to figure that out. Because mm-hmm. I may not know everything. Mm-hmm. But that's, that's the networking process. You don't have to know everything as one person. Let me ask you a that's question. They, let, me, let me ask you a question. I may cut you off. because I, 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 I want to I give you... We're going to give you a little extra. We're going to... 